What's the diagnosis? Let's go through the case. The key to this x-ray is to compare to the previous film of two years ago. Let's have a closer look at the hyla regions. When it comes to the hyla regions, there are three things I like to look at in particular. Firstly, the position. Find the hyla point, the place where the hyla vessels intersect. The left hyla point can be around two centimeters above the right, but no more than that. The right hyla point should not be higher than the left. If these rules aren't obeyed, this implies volume loss, which can be a sign of low bar collapse or lung fibrosis. In this case, we are okay. Secondly, look at the morphology. You should see branching tapering vessels, Endon vessels can look like small dots like this, which is okay, but you shouldn't see large nodules or masses. Thirdly, each hilum should appear similar in density. Now, if we compare the right hilum to the film of two years ago, we can see there is an increase in density. This implies there could be nodal enlargement or a lung mass. This was called on chest x-ray and the patient underwent a CT scan. Here, there's a mass within the right lower lobe just behind the bronchus intermedius. Abdominal CT shows the spleen is enlarged with multiple low density lesions, suggesting an underlying diagnosis of lymphoma. The mass was FDG avid on PET CT and was biopsied confirming an underlying diagnosis of lymphoma. The learning point here is to be systematic in your approach to the hyla regions. Don't forget to compare these to any previous films as this can help you make the diagnosis.